Hello everyone. So I know it's been a while since I've last hung out with you guys and I'm so sorry. I thought I would just pop in to like say hello again and reconnect with you and just chat and hang out because I am planning on getting back to posting videos a bit more regularly but I thought before I like jumped into videos with really specific topics that I would just kind of pop my head in as I said and say hi, how are you and kind of let you know what I've been up to and why I've been gone and also sit and chill with you guys, do like a bit of show and tell to like make things a bit more fun instead of just purely life update because sometimes I think those probably get a bit bland for some people so I want to make it a bit fun. I'm a little bit out of practice with this so I'm probably like stumbling with my words a bit more so this video might be like quite heavily edited because I need to get out of the habit again of saying um and like so much. Also this is like the first time all year that I've worn makeup so I'm like super out of practice with that as well and I'm not I'm not very happy with it to be honest so I'm trying to like hide it a little bit with my hair but you can kind of see some stuff going on through the hair that I don't like so um if you see any like dreadful errors on my makeup I'm aware of it <laughs> but I do not have the energy to take it all off and start again anyway I'm kind of like rambling about stuff that is completely unrelated to this video now so I'm just gonna like get into things <laughs> so as you know I have not posted on here in about a year I think there's kind of a lot of reasons for that and I can't exactly tell you all of them but I guess the first thing was that I was due to post my one year on tea update but I kind of made the whole thing like way too complicated for myself and overwhelming and then I just got like the ADHD paralysis and couldn't touch it so I got like part way through editing it but I wanted to do this thing with showing comparisons of like multiple points in time of being on tea like for example one month of some kind of body hair say like beard growth or something versus six months versus a year and like have them all together but I wanted to do that for like every single change and um it was just I made it way way too complicated for like my skills and also my editing software like that would have been <laughs> too much and it was because I didn't post anymore after that not just that video but just overall like dysphoria and especially around my voice was just becoming quite unbearable especially when it came to filming so I just kind of needed to take a break from all of it because I was like this close to never speaking ever again because my voice bothered me so much but as hopefully you can hear it has like really recently just started to drop I'm, I can't even tell you how grateful I am like it's such a relief I do hope it keeps dropping though I'm like I keep worrying that it's a fluke or it will only drop this much but not any further because it's still like fluctuating a lot because it's in like the really early days of dropping so I've like got more lower range but um it's still quite manual <laughs> and like some days my voice is deeper than others and then, so the dysphoria is still there it's just like fluctuating wildly between dysphoria and euphoria so that's fun <laughs> but anyway I did figure well now that my voice has started to drop I think I can tolerate hearing it enough to start filming again so that's why we're sitting here together today having a chat because my voice finally dropped but I will talk more about like trans stuff and testosterone in a future tea update because I do plan to get back to doing them I am gonna do a two years on tea update on November 23rd. I don't think I'll be doing them like monthly anymore though as you can see because I didn't do them all year because I think even with my my tea levels in the male range the changes are still like too slow to be doing monthly videos. Other than like dysphoria I guess other reasons why I've been away it's also just largely that this year has been like really <laughs> really horrible to be honest it's been just dreadful again I can't tell you all the reasons why but it's it's been a struggle just like getting by this year hopefully that changes soon I'm trying to work on getting things back to how they should be but it's taking a minute it's also been like some death in my family a couple of people died and um that sucks uh yes yeah, it, it was a whole thing so that's kind of like the the gist of what's been going on this year has just been a lot and I've just been kind of constantly 
exhausted from all of it. Hence the t-shirt. I think that's really suiting for today. That aside, future videos, um, obviously I'm doing the two years on tea update and then I think I'm gonna do like one small Halloween haul. I'm also gonna finally do a bedroom tour because I know you guys have been requesting that for ages and I really do want to film it because I just love this bedroom so much but I really like to live in it for at least a couple years first to like really get everything set up how I like it. What else? I do have like a DIY video planned as well. I don't know when that's going to get uploaded because I started that video forever ago and I'm still in the process of making it. That's kind of I think all the videos that I can think of at the moment that are like coming in the future hopefully. I'm also always open to requests so if you have anything in mind for me to add to the list then let me know and I will add it on there. So now I want to talk about more fun stuff and less like technical this is what I'm doing detail stuff if that makes any fucking sense. So I thought I'd like show you just a bit of creative stuff that I've been up to whilst away just as like another way of hanging out with you and reconnecting and just sharing back and forth and if you want to share anything with me that you've been up to while I've been gone too like I would love to hear that I always love hearing from you guys. One thing I want to show you whilst on the topic of videos and YouTube it is creative thing. If you haven't noticed yet, I have new banner art on my channel. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. I made it, I would say like a couple years ago and it took me absolutely ages to get around to like scanning it and resizing it and everything so I could put it on my channel, but I've finally done it. I also have like a new end screen that I made as well, but I don't know whether I'll be using that yet or not. It depends how annoying it is to like resize to get it to match all of the elements. So because of like YouTube's obligatory cropping, a lot of the banner that I made is like you can't actually see it, like there's so much that's just cut off. I think you can only see all of it if you look at it on your TV. So I thought that I would like show you the original while we're like sitting here hanging out just for fun because I want someone to see the full thing that I made and not just like the little strip version because I always make things bigger than they need to be. But yeah, so I will grab that real quick to show you. So I did like this big collage. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see, it's like completely the wrong size for a banner, like it's not the right shape. But I had so much fun making it and I just, I just wanted to like show it to you in full. But because it's like been a couple of years now when I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have changed this and added this and I don't know, but I try not to like listen to that because otherwise nothing would get done. This photo I took, it's not very good because like the car was moving, but it's one of my favorite forests. And then that's a crocodile that I drew. And then the letters were like stenciled and I like cut it all out. The film here is mine. Like that's with photos that I took as well with a film camera. But I recently, not that recently actually, but I discovered that film cameras, photos, the shininess is done with like gelatin. So that's the last time that I'm using a film camera. And then obviously I drew a little self-portrait in my favourite colour, which is of course purple, so that's fun. Anyway, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to show you, so there it is in full. I like it a lot. And then I want to show you the end screen that I made real quick too. I'm not sure how well it's going to work because I don't think it's the right shape, but we'll figure it out, it's a bit dusty, <laughs> which is weird because I've had it like stored in a folder so it shouldn't be. But anyway, this one's like A4. I don't know why I did one A3 and one A4, but there you go. So it's meant to be like, these are kind of the recommended videos at the end would go on these two squares. And then like the subscription button with my face would go on here. And this photo I also took uh, in another favorite forest because I've got a couple. <laughs> yeah, and these obviously as well are from like my film camera that I had briefly. Oh, and yeah, and I did like the well, I didn't make the letters, but I added them with like subscribe and I think what's that one say? So previous video and is it another one like this? I'm like, my camera's kind of like flipping the letters so I can't fully make them out, but yeah. So that's that. Anyway, I just wanted to like, again, show you because bits get cropped out and you don't get to see the whole thing and that makes me sad. So yeah. Whilst I'm showing you stuff, I also wanted to chat a little bit just about 
some hobbies that I've been doing that are also creative just to, like kind of help me get by and regulate. There's kind of a couple but one of them as you know is I love making candy which is like this stuff. So I want to show you like a couple, not a couple, a few, a handful <laughs> of some of my favorite candy that I've made in the recent days because I kind of stopped doing it for a bit and then I got back into it again and now it's like all that I want to do. I want to show you this one that I'm wearing first because I kind of based my outfit off of it. I got this little plastic toy kettle thing from an op shop. It used to be like one of those little bubble hoop games if you remember those but there's no water in it. It came empty which is good because I don't have to worry about it leaking but I think it's like vintage which is cool. Um, I'd say it's like from the 80s or 90s. Yeah, it's, it's, I was like so excited when I saw it straight away. I was like, candy! But it's got lots of little details like smiley faces and little gummy bears and stars and stuff. And yeah, and I also like really enjoy this color combination at the moment. It's like primary colors plus green. <laughs> I find, at least where I live, if you just wear the primary colors of blue, yellow, and red people like associate that with our local football team which is uh, awkward because I hate football I don't like sports but yeah anyway so that's why I always add in the green and as you can see it matches my shirt a lot of my bracelets have that color combo as well so then like getting into the spirit of Halloween I had like this old polymer clay lollipop that I made like back in high school I think I made it when I was about 17 so it's not very good so like don't look too closely <laughs> but um, I thought I'd turn that into some candy as well and it's got like these cute little jack-o'-lantern beads that I got on Etsy and then it's got like the little stars too. I think 17 year old me would like it. So I also recently found this little plastic toy camera at an op shop and the little button works and stuff and you can like see through it and things. So of course seeing that it had a little loop on there I got really excited and I was like oh my god candy so I turned this into a necklace too. Yeah so we've got like some little gummy bears on there. I love I love the gummy bears, they're so cute. And some little stars and some flowers and then I think it like goes back to that one. It's got these little love hearts too. Yeah. Also again I get so much of this stuff from op shops. I got like this little Pegasus from an op shop and I like put a little eye screw in its head. And I also got these beads from an op shop too, so I put it all together and made a necklace. I guess these beads don't technically class as candy, but I think they go really well with the little Pegasus, so it's it's in the collection anyway. I think it's cute. Okay, this is like my favourite because it's so ridiculous. But I really have a thing about like those little tiny plastic babies. They're like so weird, like the one that's on my ring, which I also made recently these little weirdos. I, I don't know why but I love them and I found a whole bunch of them again at an op shop. So I got the whole packet out and I put little eye screws in their heads and I turned them into a necklace and I think they are hilarious. I love them. <laughs> They're just so weird. I think like this shape in particular is really strange because compared to this one, I think this one looks more baby-like than these. I think these look like little aliens I don't know yeah that's my weird baby jewelry I do also have one on a bracelet I really have a thing about like old baby dolls especially at the moment it kind of appeals to that and I think I might like incorporate this into my Halloween costume this year because I want to go as kind of like a haunted doll but more like this the spirit that haunts the dolls so I want to like adorn myself with weird doll stuff including this yeah so I really I really love this it's so weird and I enjoy it a lot I also had some more little babies, <laughs> but they're like little angelic glowing ones. I've had these for years and the butterfly as well. These I all got again from an op shop, but I thought they kind of went together really well. And this glows in the dark as well as the babies. Yeah, and I think like the beads and stuff, they're complimentary, you know. Uh, yeah. Real quick I'll show you a couple bracelets and then I'll move on from the candy I promise. I know I like talk about it way too much but I just love candy. Actually I'll show you this one first. Do you remember like these weird little wooden ladybugs that we all seem to have as kids? Usually they would stick onto something but these ones are like buttons that I turned into beads. Um, anyway I put them on this bracelet and I don't know if you can see the writing there but it says envy bug. 
which is like non-binary ladybug and I thought that was real clever because I came up with it myself. I am a genius. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I really like that one. I think it's cute. And then this one <laughs> I will show you last because it like branches off into another topic, which I think it's time to like go to another topic now. I made this little Skyrim related candy bracelet because I'm a nerd. Um, <laughs> but it says, I don't know if you can see it well, but um, it says Doverkin on it which means dragonborn, and then it's got the little dragon. You can see, I think that was like the last one of those dragon charms that I have. I've been getting so, so, so into Skyrim this year. I've tried to play it multiple times over the years and I just like could not get the hang of it because there was so, so many options of all the different things that you could do and use and be that it was overwhelming and I felt like I didn't know what to do because there was so much to do. But then when I played Red Dead Redemption 1, because I only have like my Xbox 360, the format of that kind of helped me understand more how Skyrim works. So I gave it another go and now I'm super into Skyrim and it's like all I want to do is play Skyrim. <laughs> I really like being an Argonian in Skyrim because they look like crocodiles and you know how much I love crocodiles. Yeah, and I also, I mean, it's kind of, you can be this no matter what like race in Skyrim you are, but I also really love being a werewolf. It's the coolest thing ever. I just, the first time I discovered it on there, I was so, so stoked. It's just the coolest shit ever. Anyway, Skyrim info dump aside. Last thing I want to show you that I've been doing is some art journaling. I really got into it like kind of at the start of this year because my mum got me an art journal that was like a really specific brand that I wanted for my birthday and it's like my favorite thing. But real quick I will show you my art journals. I'll only show you like bits of them because I think once I fill up my main art journal I might do like a video of a flip through of the whole thing. There's like some pages that I would need to keep private but you could see like most of them. But this is like the big main journal. Um, it's a Dilutions journal if you know of that brand. But it's like this kind of I don't know if this is chipboard or what this is, but you can like decorate the cover. I haven't finished decorating it yet, I started and then I lost motivation, but yeah, it was kind of like an ode to my old art style from when I was like 17 or 18. So that's kind of what this is about, because I was trying to sort of reconnect with that in this book, because um, that art style was a really good time for me and I miss it and I want to get back into it so that's what that's about. Before I show you in there though I also have this one which is I think I got myself I, or actually you know what, I think my sister helped me buy this one for my birthday too but this is just like the cover of it it's like this soft sort of canvas stuff it's like a pride cover so of course I went for that and you know it's pink and I really like pink but it's like you open it and then you've got these really like smaller art journals. I'm just trying to show them for you. I put stickers online. Uh, yeah, so I've got like this one that's got the pages already have pre existing backgrounds in them. I'm just seeing if I can show you any of this. As an example, it's like got backgrounds. I just use these ones like just to remember little things throughout the year that I've enjoyed or that have been like significant to me. So I'll show you these two pages because I'm okay with sharing these that are like related to special interests. But I did a page for when I got some childhood ponies back and then I did a page about how much I fucking love Skyrim. <laughs> so just as an example but sometimes I'll also do a page of everything that I bought at an op shop a certain day and I'll stick the business card from that op shop in the page and like write a list and add some like stickers that are related to what I got or something. It's like that kind of thing. And then I also have two more books because I've nearly finished filling out the one with the backgrounds. And so then I've also got one that's like all black. I put stickers on it. Um, but like all the, all the pages are black. And I really love doing like white against black. It's quite fun. And then I also recently, because I couldn't decide whether to go to black or not next, but I think I will because of Spooky Month. But then I also got one that's like craft paper too. And you like attach them in there with elastics and stuff so you can like add loads of extra little journals into the cover if that makes sense. It's like also a really nice alternative to if you want to remember something but you don't want to post it on social media. I really want to get back into doing this because I stopped for a while just with everything that was going on it kind of slipped through the cracks. I'm, I'm talking about it in hopes that that'll motivate me to like get back into it because I, I really do enjoy it. It's like really fulfilling and it's a thing that's like just for me so there's kind of no pressure with it. 
Whereas some art, I feel pressure with it because I'm gonna like sell it or monetize it in some way. And then this one, as you can see, I just wanna show you like how thick that's getting. It's so good. I just love when the pages are all, I don't know, thick and messy and cool. I like it, but I'll show you like a few little things out of here as well. And then I'll wrap things up because I've been rambling about special interests for a really long time here. And I know you, you probably wanna go, you probably wanna go soon. Um, I'll show you the title page real quick. I had some leftover like sort of drafted um, stencil lettering from when I did the YouTube banner so I used it as like a title page for the first page and then I got like a few little sketches that I've done in the past and stuff and then I did the photos as well. Yeah and then this side has got like a pocket on it so I added just some like little bits and bits and bobs from over time but you can put like different ephemera in this envelope so you don't lose it but um I don't keep anything in there because I find that then it presses more on the title page and it causes issues oh this isn't really very artsy but every cup of tea that I drank this year I added the tea oh my god what's it called the tea tag into the books until I got two pages and as you can see, I drink a lot of Lady Grey tea. And then this side is where I started kind of mixing things up a little bit, but Lady Grey still wins overall. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's kind of fun. I feel like I want to use this as a background and like stick something over the top, but I'm not really sure. Also, these pages smell really good. I wish you could smell them. They smell like, oh my God, all my favorite tea leaves. It's so good. It's so great. I did this. I did the backgrounds and then I added on um, some prints of my artwork. So they're not the originals, but I did draw them. But I drew these like, I think when I was 18 or something. So they're not really like my style anymore, but I thought it looked kind of fun <laughs> with the background and the borders and stuff. I was kind of experimenting a bit, but and then like I tried to do a similar thing here with more of my prints, but I kind of didn't like what I started doing down here. So I stopped, but um, yeah, because I learned this really cool like technique for backgrounds with these books in particular because they've got, I think it's called mixed media cardstock, so you can do a lot of different stuff on the pages and use a whole bunch of different like art materials. But the person who makes the books, I love her videos so much, her name's Diane Reevely, go check her out, she's great. She did this video about like baby wipe backgrounds. I'll show you what I mean. Um, so I made this background which I'm too scared to put anything on because I like it too much. But um, I like got some paint and put it on a baby wipe and just, oh sorry, hit the table. And then I just like smear the baby wipe all over the pages in different colours. It all kind of blends together. And then I um, stenciled a few leaves and stuff on there too. I wanted it to look kind of like underwatery. But um, yeah, it's been like, a really good way of like branching out and experimenting with different ways of doing 2D art, basically. I also did this one, which I really like. I was feeling a bit nostalgic, so I made that. And the rat is a drawing that I did a while back, and then I took the photo as well. I did the lettering with a stencil. Um, and this little coffin is like a tag that I kind of turned into a coffin. Yeah, and I, the background, I just love that. I kind of hate that we have to cover up the backgrounds because I really liked that one. I'm also really getting into like these Ephemera by Tim Holtz. Um, he did some really good Halloween ones this year that I bought as well, which I'm really excited to use. So I did try this technique. Didn't do a very good job, but it was something that I learned from um, Diane, but it was like, I don't know, cutting pages using her um, gem block. And right there is my mum's um, dragon statue called Ralph. And I thought the colour was really suiting because he's kind of that colour, so I use the background. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I really want to get back into art journaling again because it's just so like fulfilling and fun. So let me know if you ever want to see like a full flip through of this at all whenever I fully finish it. It's it's getting there. I haven't got that many pages left, but it'll take me a while at the same time. Yeah, but anyway, I don't know what to do now after all that info dumping because that was a lot. But I hope you enjoyed it and uh yeah, again like if you want to share with me as well like what you've been up to, any like fun things or interests you've been getting into this year while I've been gone so we can like catch up. But thank you for hanging out with me and like chilling, listening to me talking about just how things have been, what I've been up to. I'm looking forward to talking with you guys again really soon because uh, I do want to start posting again more regularly like I said. I won't be doing weekly or anything I don't think, I just find that too 
exhausting to be honest but I'll be I'll be around here and there probably like monthly or something no particular schedule but I'm here just so you know that's all that I have to say so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time